FM News Talk 97.1. On Demand Audio. I did talk about transparency a few minutes ago, and that that that's a good question um, for state government as well as the federal government. The issues of transparency. Patrick Ishmael joining us right now from the Show Me Institute. Patrick, how are you? I'm doing great, Mark. How are you doing today? I am doing just fine. Thank you. Um, for, for the longest time, uh, as a reporter, I depended on the sunshine law quite often to try to get information out of the Missouri um, legislature and, and government. Uh, but uh, this goes beyond the sunshine law, I'm assuming. What, what other transparency are we looking for? Well, I mean, for taxpayers, it's really important that they know and have confidence that their government is working the way that they that it should be. So whether you're talking about a federal government or state government, being able to see what's going on behind closed doors is really important to making sure that people have confidence in their elected officials. And in state government, uh, we found out about a week and a half ago that a court had ruled that uh, a group called Progress Missouri, which it's a liberal group your your listeners may have heard of before, that they weren't allowed to record Senate hearings. And that's it's kind of a complicated ruling, but the short story is they said that the Senate could set rules for uh, when and how their hearings could be recorded. Uh, and, and effectively, these uh, hearings weren't being recorded because they were denying Progress Missouri access to them to, to at least record them. And that is wrong-headed. That's bad policy. And, and really, if, if the, the Senate or if any legislative body in the state is going to say you can't record here, then they ought to be recording every single one of those public meetings. If I'm able to go to the meeting and see with my eyes what's going on, right. you should also be able to have a, a video camera there to document it for those who can't be there. Well, sure, there should be. Um, is this a – what have they blamed it on? Is it a cost issue? You know, as far as why they haven't done it uh, by themselves, that's a really good question. Uh, we know that the Senate has said that uh, if it was done on request, if, the, if someone requested that it would be recorded, uh, I think they said they would have recorded it. Um, but I think that you know, if you're going to stop someone else from recording it and then you don't record those meetings, the meetings, there are four meetings in question here. Uh, that Progress Missouri went to, they, they apparently didn't get recorded by anybody after they were kind of kicked out of those of those hearings. So, you know, I, I would consider that kind of a request. If you're there with the, the video camera, then if you can't do it, then the Senate ought to be doing it. So the Senate says that they, they do it on request, but that's simply not good enough. Uh, if they're going to kick folks out or kick video cameras out, they ought to be doing it every single time. And, and if they need a request, um, you know, I'll just make an open request. I'd like to see how my government works all the time for these public meetings. And that includes recordings. Yeah. And you, the, the question is how many people are actually going to take advantage of it, I guess. But ultimately, you're right. We, we, we should have an expectation that that is available because the technology is cheap these days. That, that's exactly right. And it serves both taxpayers' interest and legislators' interest because taxpayers could see exactly how their government is operating and why. And the legislators, you know, if, if there's a concern about uh, uh, folks not understanding why they voted a certain way on an issue, well, document the meeting. And you can actually, you know, make your explanation there, and people can always go back and reference it. But it's good for taxpayers. It's good for legislators. It's good for good governance and transparency. And, and it, it really, it, you really do need to have the sunshine in here. Uh, I, I think if people think that uh, their legislators are trying to get away with something or they're trying to make sure that something can't be documented, they're going to get suspicious. And, and and in some respects, I think rightfully so. I don't think that there's always something nefarious going on in, in these meetings that aren't being recorded. But at the same time, there's no reason not to record them. and They ought to be recorded uh, for everybody's sake. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, Patrick Dishmail with the Show Me Institute. People can go to showmeinstitute.org to read about all of the issues that uh, that they're doing research on over there. Always appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Have a good weekend. We appreciate you coming on with us.